Hey, what's going on with y'all? Fellas, ladies, what's good? It's good to see y'all. It's most definitely good to be back. How y'all doing during this whole quarantine? Crazy situation that we're going through right now. Hope y'all keeping yourself sane. Hope you got yourself plenty of herbs to smoke on. Hope you got yourself plenty of beers. Matter of fact, it don't matter. The store's still open. It ain't quite like uh, that Will Smith movie. I can't think of it. I Am Legend. It's not quite like that shit. Now, they want to make scenes from that movie go viral because of what's going on right now. What? You watching Outbreak on Netflix, nigga? Get the fuck out of here, man. Outbreak? You think this is what this fucking... Look, man, I'm not going to say anything out of my fucking mouth besides going on what the fuck's going on. I got some bombs to drop on y'all, kind of, if I can remember all of them in the flow of the video. You know, I don't write this shit down. It kind of gets freestyled. Come up with an idea, just go with it. Sometimes I ain't got an idea, I just go with it. Sometimes you just got to do it, just like Nike. Shit. Now, I'm looking at, like... <clears throat> People got their checks and shit, right? And they're coming out more than they was ever coming out before. At least where I'm at. People out here. Now, some states, I don't know how all of them I know, like, uh, there are some states that do got National Guards out there, if I'm not mistaken, and they are checking motherfuckers to see where's your essential paperwork's at. Shout out to all my essential workers out there. I'm an essential worker. I'm doing my thing. I'm doing my part to help with society. So if you see me riding around, as far as I'm concerned, I have more of a right to ride around than you motherfuckers do with some of y'all. Because y'all out there fucking full force. It was a gorgeous day today. Can you blame motherfuckers for being out there? No, you can't. Two days ago, prior to maybe a week ago, it's been raining. It's been nasty. Jobs been getting canceled because I work outside. So my job's getting canceled. My paper stack getting fucking low. You know what I'm saying? I'm mad, motherfucker. But I can't be mad. I can't help but smile because I had a great... I had so much going on today. It's hard for me to keep track on where I want to be at, man. But anyway, so the, this whole quarantine thing is, you know, essential workers, everybody's out. You know, it's like I seen people out there partying like when I was doing Uber today. Driving around, dropping off food and stuff. I do Uber Eats and shit on the side. On top of my other job, you know, make a little extra cash when times get hard, you know. Or I want to get a little extra paper. Man, people was out there like 10, 15 deep. They was at a party at this house. This motherfucker had some badass bitches. It was like 15 cars lined up. Everybody out. Everybody got they, they a lot of people got their damn checks. They got their stimulus checks. They out there doing their thing. I didn't get to spend my, I didn't get to have a good time with my stimulus check. Like I had to, my car broke down as soon as I got that shit, the same fucking day. Now I can't say so much about bad luck because today solidified all the bullshit that I was thinking before. It, it just summed it all up to like, okay, you're full of shit. You're not cursed. You're not in this, cycle of shit because things can happen to you sometimes that are magical just give it time keep praying to god give it time it's like you don't even know what the fucking think or do around this shit i mean motherfuckers are out here they're trying to get out they want to spend their money you know i had to go and Paid like uh, about $1,500 on my car, man. Basic maintenance. I have a good car. I don't think it's a, a beater. I've been riding it out for a year since I bought it. I put about fifteen thousand, uh, fourteen to 15,000 miles on my car since I had it. I bought it at like 34,000 miles. It's a great car. Um, the battery cable fucked up or whatever. The battery died out completely. You had to buy a new battery. I kind of got ripped off at GM or at the fucking Chevrolet dealer. I hate those fucking Chevrolet, those those big companies that do the auto repairs. Them motherfuckers 
always rip you off. They'll find a way. They be scheming and scamming on your ass. If you don't know shit about cars, they will get you. And I, my knowledge of cars is very basic. Them motherfuckers got me. They got me for about $200, man. And I should have known because the way that snarky bitch was looking at me at the fucking counter, that receptionist cunt. Excuse my language, but, you know, I got to use it's appropriate. That receptionist cunt. She was looking at me. She's just like, she had this little snarky look. Just, the fuck is that? Like, bitch, what you think? You looking at me like you got me or something like that. I was salty when I came up there. I was pulling out my car. And she's like, okay, that'd be 471. Hey, thank you, sir, man. Appreciate you. He's like, this motherfucker's reading off a laundry list of shit, like, acting like he did me a favor or something. All right, so, you know what? Since I know things are going hard, times are going hard, you know, I'm going to take off this. I'm going to nod off this. Oh, uh, you know, man, don't worry about that. And so, you know, vanity fee. And he's like, oh, it's going to be about 461 On the phone, he told me that when he had to fix my battery cable, right, that said it's broken, I was like, fuck that battery cable. Basically, what it's saying is my car would have died. It'd either be impossible for me to start my car back up by a jump, and I have to get a new battery again, basically, or whatever the fuck, or, you know, I might be able to charge it. It's a hit or miss. It's a risk to take, but... As long as I, you know, do what I always do, make sure my lights are off, always open the fucking car. I did some silly shit. I was sitting there waiting for the tow truck people to come. My battery died completely. And I knew I was having problems with the battery. Now, this car, the battery, I feel like has basic wear and tear. I think he was trying to rip me off. Truthfully, I don't think the battery cable looks bad. I mean, motherfucker, it looked a little bit like chalky, but I don't think it's as bad as he made it seem. He said that you should pay for it. Would it be an extra hundred dollars? If you don't pay for it, you you don't have to pay for it. The car still run, but if something happens, then that probably will be the problem. It ain't happened. That was three weeks ago, man. He's full of shit. He got me too, and that's my fault because I didn't really check my car. I didn't open, pop the hood open before I went there because they they told my car I was like I looked at it, but I really wasn't paying attention. And I realized that I could have fixed that shit. I could have put that in. And obviously myself, the battery wasn't underneath anything. It was at the top. He really got me, man, for nothing. You know, so a lot of shit going on. I man. everybody out here running around, they shouldn't be. You know, I feel like essential workers, man. At least we should have more priority on the street than some of you motherfuckers that ain't working. I understand being stir crazy ain't a fucking joke. Who the fuck wants to be sitting in the house all day cooped up with a loved one? With your girl who wants to cuddle up on you all the fucking time and just, where you going, baby? I want to go with you. Wait. Get off of me. She want to wrap up in the covers and wrap, whatever the fuck, you know. Look, I love being around women. We all do. Or your significant other, whatever you, whichever way you go, I don't give a fuck. We love being around that, but gotta be a time when you get a break. Everybody walking, jogging. I see motherfuckers out here running more than they ever been running. I seen people running in the fucking rain. That's nothing. I I never see shit like that out here. Nobody runs in the rain. I've been seeing girls, man, running in the rain, man. Like fuck it, I'm trying to get out the house. I'm gonna go crazy. Obesity is skyrocketed. Motherfuckers is killing themselves. Motherfuckers is sucking down bleach trying to stop the symptoms or whatever. Or trying to goofy ass shit. Truthfully, I was avoiding doing my little Uber Eats thing because people are so paranoid. I feel like I, I got to wear gloves or I got to like have the mask on too. It was more chill than I thought it would be. People like leaving at the doorstep. Honestly, it's easier than it was before. I don't want to see you. I don't want you to see me. Leave me a good rating. Leave me a tip if you fucking feel generous. And let's just leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. I don't got to see you. You ain't got to see me. Fuck it. The only thing you need to know is when my car arrives. A lot's been going on since I've been gone. 420 just came. I smoked like four, uh, 420, man. I smoked like crazy. 
like 2018 when I first got back here, man. I smoked a lot that day too. I was like hitting bowl at the bowl. This 420, I just sat there with the bowl. With the blunt, man. Smoke, you know. It's cool, man. Weed is decriminalized in my state. Things are beautiful, man. I'm talking about literally decriminalized. I'm not just saying this shit. Like, it was passed in law. So that's a beautiful thing, man. I said I mentioned this shit like three months ago. I was actually wrong because I was like, they were working. They were in the process of it. I thought it was actually signed into it, but it wasn't. But now it's officially signed. So only thing they can do now is give me a $25 ticket if I'm smoking the ganja. So suck my dick, officer. Penny, suck my dick off of Pulaski. Shit, I ain't sexist. Shit, fuck you too, Miss, uh, whatever, cop lady. Miss lady bitch. Hey, 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 Miss lady bitch. Remember that shit from, uh, Don't Be a Menace? Hey, 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 Miss lady bitch. Hey, hey, Miss lady bitch. I find myself saying that shit a lot. Damn, I got 15% of my battery. You know, got home, man, had a little bit of a celebration. Had a couple of drinks and shit, chill. Get a little hyped up, you know. But not too carried away. Uh like I I, I had a good day, man. I fucking found some I found some shit. I found some money on the ground. Found followed by some other shit that came with it. You know? <laughs> I was like, damn, man, what a good way to end my day off, you know? Life can be beautiful. Like I said, I've been patient. I've been, I've been staying alive, you know, surviving, you know, doing the best I can. Even through the depression. I know people keep asking me for uh, more uh, anxiety videos, panic attack, weed videos, and I'm definitely gonna work on that's some of my next video, uh, for sure. Uh, right now, I just wanted to kind of get on the on the um, on the mic and just spit my thing, my little piece, and just kind of chill with y'all, let y'all know what's going on. I mean, I know there's there's plenty more to talk about, you know. Um, oh, I can't really say. Uh, I got some uh, some shit I gotta say, kind of subliminally. Um, but if you can understand what I'm saying is now as far as this COVID shit right I heard some shit and uh, it kind of kind of upsets me because I feel like they should take further action and they're not doing so I don't know how true it is. <clears throat> They're telling me to put the pieces together and try to figure out who the fuck, you know, it is that. And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, is this shit true? I don't know who the, what the fuck is going on. Can't say much about the shit, really, because, you know, I don't really understand why I can't say nothing about it, because honestly, I've been seeing shit like, People, they find out that someone got that shit. They shut all things down, man. They, they shut down the fucking, uh, the alcohol, the ABC, the fucking liquor stores. They shut down liquor stores out, out here, a bunch of them. You can still get beer out the store, but they shut down some liquor stores, man. Because apparently someone had the fucking COVID. But some people want to keep that shit quiet. I don't know if that shit is like, you know, it is what it is. I Like I said, that's it. It's a crazy world out here, G. Count your blessings, man. Smile. Just, you know, be glad that you live another day. It feels good, man. I've been clean. I ain't been fucking with no dope. Feels good, man, you know? I just, as you can see, I'm fat as fuck. I stepped on the scale. I was like, damn, man. Maybe a nigga shit fuck with some dope or something, man. Get a little, 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 little going a little smoke diet real fast, you know? Nah, I'm, I'm so, like, just, 
done with that stupid, stupid ass shit, man. And I, I know we say these things. I don't even like to say these things out loud. I'd rather just do it. Because I'm just so... Even before, when I was fucking with that shit before the time when I stopped fucking with it, it's been like, it's been a, it's been a good while for me to just be, you know, even before then it was like, it wasn't like an everyday thing, man. Like when I was in Arizona, man, you know, some times back, and I, I, I would say Arizona, I go back to Arizona to go back to these times because it's a time frame where things were really different in my life than they are now. I don't want that to sound like a repeat cycle thing, but it's just like I have to go back to those times because things happened there. Like, my life was different. Like, the times I can remember who I was, a certain part of me that I lost, but I've gained for the better too. But I also lost a part of me as well. So I have to use that as a time period. That puts it back two, three years ago or so. I was getting, I was at, at the end of shit, like towards the, cause I was first in Arizona for the years I was out there. I was doing great, man. Did a lot of drinking, but I was a working functional alcoholic. Busting my ass at work. I was working like seven days a week. A lot of the time, man, at the Red Cross. I was always working, man. Just, I stop drinking and working, drinking and working, drinking and working, drinking, and working, fucking drinking, drinking, working, fucking, 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 fucking drinking and working, drinking, fucking, fucking, fucking again, coming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just doing a lot of that shit, man. It was just the days, man. But towards the end, you know, I, I fell into a different demon. I found a different. I found uh, I took a I, I took a sip of the devil's potion by mistake. Motherfucker said, "Try this." I said, "Shit, I'll take a sip." I took a sip and I got addicted to that devil's potion. You know, um, sometimes the shit that you ain't looking for, sometimes it turns out to be some shit that you might be loving. You didn't even know you loved it. Now you gotta unlove it because you realize that this shit don't love you back. I had to learn how to unlove something that didn't love me back. I start to realize that the things that we desire are not truly the things that we actually want or need. These desires that we have are actually fantasy, something that we fantasize, something similar to a dream. Dream as is a fantasy. Very similar. The act is the same way. Dreams and fantasies, something very like, kind of like a mirage seem something that's not actually there it's something that you want to grab you want it do you really want it is that really in your vision sometimes you gotta fail to understand who you actually are it's okay to lose I took many L's in my life ain't nothing wrong with it man I pat myself on the fucking shoulder and say, hey, it's all good, man. Dust yourself off. You still play a pimp. What's good? How my balls taste? They taste good, j Bob. Yeah, I know. That's what the last bitch said. You ain't nothing new. Fuck out of here. Next. That's fine. Just got to keep pushing. Life is a motherfucker, man. Up and down, up and down, up and down, like the seesaw. Remember back in the day on the seesaw when you used to get down there? And three, I don't remember, I remember never forget this shit. When three of these motherfuckers, one of them was fat as fuck, man. Got on the seesaw. For some reason, I thought it would be a good idea for me to be on the other end. That shit popped up, pop, popped up. Damn, that broke my fucking neck, man. But I'm still living, still standing. Today was a good day. Today was a good day. A lot of people are out there. No one's really got the mask. A lot of people are coming out. I, I feel like, is it like people are just 
are they just are they not scared anymore? Is money making them not give a fuck? Because people are not taking the, the separate, they're not taking the, they're not doing the social distancing, man. Look, people are saying symptomless, uh, you got symptomless fucking corona. What are you just drop dead, motherfucker? I wish I had symptomless corona. That sounds like a peaceful, honorable death to me. I don't give a fuck about no shit like that. Oh, uh, uh. am I gonna just die? Like, I don't fucking know, man. Whatever. Suck a dick. I'm just gonna keep living, just keep pushing. Like we all should. So I'm about to close it out, man. I'm about to step out, man. Just chill. Probably go to sleep, man. Kind of, kind of fucked up a little bit. Kind of buzzed. Feeling good though. It's been a great day. Y'all be safe out there for real, man. Uh, I'm not gonna sit there and preach to you about social distancing. Cause I'm not gonna do that shit. I'm kind of tired of YouTubers doing that shit. I seen YouTubers in the beginning of their videos like, yo, man, make sure to. Uh, Shut the f I, I skip right through that shit. Shut the fuck up, man. You already know what to do, man. Just keep doing what you should have been doing a long time ago. You dirty motherfuckers. Y'all take it easy out there. Y'all be safe again, man. And stop being motherfucking dirty. How about that, man? This shit happens, man. What can you do? You gonna hide? Man, be a warrior, man. Stand up for something, man. Or die like a bitch. Peace.